10 items of clothing and creating 10 outfits. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to slightly different setting. And if you guys are new around here, my name is Eva. I'm from London and today's video is going to be the very popular 10 items of clothing and that includes a pair of shoes and creating 10 outfits so it's almost like a capsule wardrobe which I think is really really good idea to film because that will show you how you can work with basics what items you should or shouldn't have maybe in your wardrobe and I think it's really really fun video to, for me to film and for me to watch as well on other channels. I got inspired uh, to actually film this based on um, Susie from Hello October. She has actually done it and I watched it and I'm like what a fabulous idea and I think she mentioned that she has seen these videos around. And I think what the best time to film me then start of the year if you guys may be trying to build up your wardrobe looking for an inspiration. Uh, so yeah I decided to do it myself. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and let's start. What I will do first, I will introduce all the items and then I'm going to style it and show you different ideas. I'm going to be styling these 10 outfits and that's what I'm going to be working with, which you will shortly see what these are. But I'm going to include two coats just because obviously we are from different climates. Uh, now we're in the winter in UK, uh, but these coats are not part of it. It's just for me to show you maybe final look, what else you can do and just to give you an idea. Also, I don't have any handbags here, so when I'm showing you the outfits, maybe I'll throw here and there another bag or pair of sunnies just to finish off the look. However, I'm doing it purely uh, just to show you the final touches, but at the end of the day, we are working with these 10 things, but you also probably would wear your handbag anyway, which wouldn't be part of like your capsule wardrobe. So unfortunately, my battery died. And now the sun is coming out, which is obviously not ideal. Sadly, I don't have the luxury to do it later because obviously I am quite limited with time just due to babysitting and stuff. So let's roll with this. I do apologize if the light is not the best. Okay, so just find it easier to get it out of the way so you get an idea. So I picked um, just a very classic type of uh, trainers which would be obviously for more to dress down and comfortable looks. These are by Isabel Marand. And I will try to link all the items below in the description box. Uh, if I can't find the same item, I'll try to find similar. So this would be the first piece out of 10. Very comfortable, cool, very easy, um, casual type of trainers by Isabel Marand. <laughs> item I picked um, basically a type of shoe which is they're not biker um, but they're very close to biker at the same time they have a heel they're pointy they're laced they've got like a buckle detail so I thought it's a perfect combination because if I was to pick maybe flat biker boots those are amazing but I think with this one you can really create more chic outfits uh, workwear outfits and I think this is a really really good investment boot um, I absolutely recommend them. They're a little bit more on the pricier side, but I've been wearing them to death and they're still in amazing quality. So these are still available. I'm going to link them down below, but guys, I can highly recommend and you will really see how well they work in basic wardrobe, but I think they're fun. They've got a lot of going on at the same time. They're really easy, really wearable. Well, the sun really bothers me, but what can we do? Not much. Um, so let's start. Um, the next item would be, uh, I would say, a classic pair of jeans. These are by Girlfriend Denim. These are probably the most uh, kind of easy and very easy type of jeans I would have. You know, there's nothing crazy about them. They're not super ripped. They're not um, super skinny. Uh, they're just really easy, flattering jeans that will go with anything. So I think these are also available maybe in a different shade. So I'll link them down below. <laughs> The next item I would always say in your capsule wardrobe and for me for my style would definitely be leather or faux leather. Now I have got several like leather trousers but I've actually picked these. Uh, first thing because you can still get these and I've been living in these. These are like uh, faux leather leggings. These are actually from H&M. I'll link them down below and oh my god guys every 
every one of you should have these because these are 15 pounds great fit very easy to wear I think I sized up just because I wanted to have a bit of room but also like I feel like the H&M in UK has got a slightly different sizing so definitely a must have and I can highly highly recommend these if you're looking for a decent price leather leggings I have a real leather leggings I have other stuff but I decided to pick these <laughs> classic black blazer now this one is men's you know like this is my go-to and I'm so happy I bought this last year and since then I have actually bought so many more uh, men's blazers I've talked about it in many vlogs I've actually filmed um, styling menswear items um, and blazer is definitely one of the key pieces so if you guys haven't watched it definitely go and have a look so this is my favorite one the reason I why I picked this is I just like the relaxed fit but you can also belt it and I'm gonna talk about it later so I just feel this one will work better. Now, although I have got a lot of, even like designer black blazers, like a Calvin Klein, I've got Sandro, definitely more high-end brands. I've picked this one just because I just feel it really works for a capsule wardrobe and it's very easy. It also is affordable for anybody. So that's why it is in this um, video. items I'll show you um, at the same time because it's a plain white t-shirt and plain black t-shirt. This one is from a brand 8th and this was actually a gift that was sent to me recently. This is 100% cotton. I would say when you're buying your basics definitely invest in good fabric, good materials, uh, something that is comfortable. Cotton normally works really well and honestly I think we should have several plain t-shirts because they go well with the blazer um, obviously they're very easy, they go with so many things, so I can't imagine a capsule wardrobe without these two items and obviously I will show you later how to style it. But in your capsule wardrobe you should have some sort of knit. Now it was very difficult to choose, I've got a lot of knitwear and I think it's amazing. I wasn't sure whether to pick a jumper or a cardigan, but not everybody loves cardigans, so I picked this one. This one's actually, I think, maybe two seasons ago from H&M and uh, I picked it because of like very timeless color I genuinely like this one it's warm and I know it will work with a lot of things but you I think in terms of the color palette you see it's very basic but that's probably what capture wardrobe is about you can create a lot of black and white very monochromic outfits or like the very nudes and beiges so I think that works really well um, obviously I have got a lot of color in my wardrobe but now we're talking just 10 specific items so that's why I picked also this one. And the next item would be white shirt. I actually went for this longer version from Zara, which I just had nightmare steaming. <laughs> so it's not perfect, I just needed a little bit more time, but sadly I don't have that luxury. I keep saying it, but that's how it is. So I picked this one, but you can go for, for a shorter one, depending obviously on your taste. But this one is a Zara. I don't know if they still have it, but I bought it I think um, a few months before Christmas, I think you probably would have seen it in one of the hauls. And last but not least, I picked something what probably most people wouldn't include in their 10 things, and that is a belt. And I've also picked a type of belt that most people wouldn't wear it. And I, the reason for that is I love belts, and I, for a long time I was thinking which belt am I going to go for. But I went for something that is actually more dressy. I actually think like this belt, um, this is from an amazing brand called Black and Brown. I'm going to link it down below. But I think they still have it on a porter. Um, I think this belt really can dress some of these things up. It's very me and I wanted obviously this to also reflect my style and be me. Um, and I think it will add the last touch. I could have cheated and say, yeah, I'm just gonna add it to, you know, accessorize it here and there, but no, I wanted to actually include it in the 10 it and items. So that's what we had, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And let's start with, with the styling. <laughs> first look is the jumper uh, together with the leather leggings I kind of tucked it in but you could also wear it like out if you want a little bit longer um, the leather leggings the black boots I just grabbed this Stella McCartney bag now this one sold out this model but I'll try to find like a similar alternative but I just feel like this look is very easy literally anybody very easy color palette 
but ultimately grey jumper would work as well. So yeah, this is outfit number one. And this is the next look. This is just so me and this is one of the reasons why I included the belt in the 10 items. So I'm wearing the longer shirt that just belted again with the leather leggings and um, the, the boots and I think this is such a nice outfit. So you could just throw over a coat. I'll actually show you because um, I mentioned I'm going to be adding maybe some of the coats. And you could easily wear this now in the winter. Just super cool look. Spring. Really, really, really like this and it is also very me. <laughs> and one of the coats I picked would be Teddy Coat just because they're really warm. Um, they're still bang on trend. Uh, obviously, you know, they're probably in any shop, any brand has come with their own version. So um, I picked this white one, which is still available. So that's also gonna link be, uh, link, that's also gonna be linked in the description box below. So this is look number two. The look number three is just a plain white t-shirt with the leather leggings and the Isabel Maran trainers. I mean, this is such a classic look just to throw on, whether that is uh, just running quickly to the shop, meeting friends, uh, school, school drop <laughs> or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my code number two, which is this Burberry trench and just show you like a finished look and my uh, Chanel bag, both very classic pieces and just show you like a final look because I think the white tea leather trousers and like a classic trench with trainers is just such a classic and um, it would be silly not to include this sort of um, styling and this is a look number three with the coat the trainers just a very easy comfortable yet very chic look i really like these sort of outfits especially when you're in a hurry not sure what to wear and uh, yeah i enjoy that <laughs> And outfit number four is almost the same outfit. The only thing I added is like a hat um, and the same bag, but I just swapped um, the Burberry trench with this oversized blazer. Uh, again, very easy outfit. And look, it's got totally different vibes just because it's simply the blazer. And if you would be really cold, you could throw in maybe the teddy coat over the shoulders or just, you know, wear it normally. Um, so that's another look. This is outfit number four. This just again proves how much you can actually do with simple basic items and if you create a capsule wardrobe right for yourself according to your style, keep the colors neutral, you just get really really a lot of outfits out of it. Now the next outfit and that's outfit number five is basically I layered the shirt just with peaking collar with the knit it's just such a classic way with the leather leggings and uh, my trainers so obviously the white complements the white trainers um, I, I picked this gucci bag just to maintain it very neutral and very easy and it's just very very easy and very typical way how to wear your shirt and that's one of the reasons why i pick a longer one because i do like when it speaking out from like knitwear but ultimately if you pick like a cardigan and a shorter one you could just layer those two it really depends on your taste but this is ultimately one of the most classic looks and uh, the way how you can style a shirt you can actually find so this is outfit number five again very easy <laughs> Outfit number six is actually the shirt together with the jeans. I'm keeping it tucked out with the trainers and uh, just a cute bag for a little bit like cuter, more maybe a little bit more glamorous touch. Uh, I do like sometimes like more feminine bags with a very masculine outfit. I just like ju juxtapositions and when things are really far away from each other when it comes to style, just basically combine things that not necessarily would be your first thought how to combine them and wear them together. So very relaxed look and I'll show you what it would look like maybe with the teddy coat. Again, this could be a look you could wear now in UK in the winter that would keep you warm. Very simple and very easy. And I just threw on a pair of Celine's. I just never get bored of these. I mean, it's such an old model, uh, Celine Shadow. I had a different one, Thin Shadow, but I wasn't as keen on them, so I sold them. But these ones, I just love and still, still wear them a lot. 
and this is the look with the teddy coat as I told you it will work really well the color the I like obviously uh, the texture as well of the different fabrics so yeah very nice very nice look <laughs> And the next look I actually put uh, together the shirt with the oversized blazer again I just uh, put in the Chanel bag these Adam Salmon for Les Becks glasses with the jeans and the trainers again such a classic look I think this is look number seven if I <laughs> if I'm not counting right I will just put always the correct number uh, maybe somewhere in the video if I uh, messed up but this is a really really easy look again very comfortable you could also tuck in um, the the shirt uh, whichever you want you could tie it in in a waist uh, the only reason why I'm not doing it is because if I do it I would have to steam it again <laughs> and look number eight is the black t-shirt with the oversized blazer again I just added uh, some bag or more finished look the selling glasses uh, jeans and trainers I'm also trying to when it comes to accessories pick also like really basic things uh, so it actually complements the whole idea of having a smaller amount of things that work well together because if I start to bring bright colors yes it looks amazing but the whole idea is that everything works well together so this is another super easy look you could also wear it with, with the white t-shirt but I just thought I haven't included the black properly yet so black it is for now <laughs> And look number nine, maybe actually my favorite uh, from this one. This is just so me. Um, so I paired the ankle boots with the jeans, uh, just black t-shirt, use the bell, see how it dresses up and uh, just grab like a bag with silver hardware. And this one's just super easy and I would say very chic. You just can't go wrong with something like that. It's honestly one of my favorite things to wear like belted blazers with different type of uh, Trousers, jeans, even like dress. I love it like over dress. Um, just very simple. Maybe it would be nice with like black sunnies or some sort of silver sunnies. Just really, really nice look. Really enjoy. Looks like this. And as you can see, you can create them with like a capsule wardrobe as long as you pick the right items and you stay true to yourself. Like if I didn't have the belt, I wouldn't have the same sort of outfit if I didn't keep it in the 10. Um, items and although there are so many other combinations I could create out of this honestly like <laughs> you know with black and white t-shirt you can do loads especially when you have their blazer um, I decided the last one and look number 10 uh, to be just like a the simple black t-shirt just put on some sunnies the jeans the ankle boots and just grab my Chanel bag and I think this one would look really great with the trench coat just to finish off the look um, or you know if it's not warm enough um, but this could be like a nice kind of summer look if it's not like too hot really really easy or spring look um, which uh, just just very simple so this is my last look look number 10 I think I could go to 20 with all this <laughs> I still have enough for example the jeans and the jumper just so many combinations but I'll show you this one with the Burberry trench and this is the last look and this is the look with the trench I just tied it in the the I just tied it in the waist just to give it a bit of silhouette and such a nice kind of easy look very easy which you can't go wrong again with and that's it guys from this video hopefully you enjoyed it maybe let me know what would be in your capsule wardrobe which of these you like which of the outfits maybe were your most favorite don't forget to hit the subscribe button perhaps look at other videos um, i mentioned the menswear but there's also some hauls and a lot of fashion videos a lot of vlogs and thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon in my next video bye <laughs>